Today I'm going to talk to you about two of our antennas, the x one and the x 15G. Now, as you can see, this is uh, summer here in the Southern Hemisphere, here in South Africa. So, um, it's the hat and the dark glasses. So, you may wonder why I'm reading as the marketing engineer for pointing, why I'm reading this off of the, uh, the spec sheet. Uh, the last time I looked, we make 120 different antennas for all of your needs. So, uh, that makes it quite difficult to keep track of each one of them's exact parameters. And I, and I would want you to get the exact parameters. Right. So, on our X, uh, X pole, and by the way, X pole means cross polarized antenna. And a cross polarized antenna means that we have one sitting at 45 degrees to the left, so to speak, and one at 45 degrees to the, to the right. This particular the unit, the Expo uh, 1 5G, comes in two variants. One with a cross polarized antenna pair, and another version which is actually a 4x4 unit. Um, yes, by the way, this is an urban environment, so urban noises, so please apologies for noises that you may hear, air cons, bird life, etc., etc. Getting back to the Expo 15G over here. So th this comes in a 2x2 two two or a 4x4, four four, which means that we, in the 4x4 four four version, we have a left-hand 45-degree uh, dipole, and a right-hand 45-degree dipole, then a horizontal and a, a vertical giving you 4x4 four four capabilities, and of course you've got four cables coming out of that particular unit. Right, so as far as the frequencies are concerned, this guy is the, the guy that uh, if you, you're in the, in the older versions of LTE, reception area, this will take you all the way up to 2.7 gig or 2,700 megahertz. And this guy has a, in the lower frequencies, we, we have a 1.6 dBi uh, gain on this antenna. And in the higher frequencies, 1.7 to, uh, to 2,700 megahertz, then the, the gain is slightly higher. We've got a 4 dBi gain there. So the... This is really uh, horses for courses. So this this one is the one that will give you the 5G capability. And when we talk about 5G capability, this guy will take you all the way up to 3,800 megahertz. And 3 dBi gain at the at the upper frequencies. In fact, across the band, this is this guy's got a 3 dB uh, dBi gain. So. What is next is I'm going to actually put these these two guys through its paces and run a speed test on, on each one of those using exactly the same modem, using exactly the same provider, so you can see the, the performance of these uh, of these antennas on a speed test. Incidentally, each one of these uh, have a five meter cable, so when we talk about gain, of course, it does not include the losses on the, on the um, uh, cable. So please take into that, uh, that into account. In this instance, we've got, as I say, we've got two five-meter cables. As far as the mounting options are concerned on these, on, you, you can see that they're stuck on, on the window here. And we actually stick them up with uh, what is known as window suckers. These window suckers actually function very, very well, and we've actually had one of these units stuck up on one of the windows at the office for more than a year and a half. In fact, I think it's more than a year and, and eight months now. So what we, what we have is these units, uh, they can actually be stuck on the inside of the window as well. So if you're in a, in a high-rise building somewhere in a, a urban area, highly dense populated urban area, you're in a high-rise, you can actually have these units on the inside of the window and not having to feed the cables through the window as I'm doing over here. So here we are downstairs from where the two expels are installed on the window. And what we're going to do is we're first going to test the, 
This is the Teltonica RUT240. And as you can see, I've got it inside here, inside the residence, and we're going to test it on its uh, antennas internally here in the building to see what the throughput is and what the radio frequency received parameters are. So I'm going to run and I'll, I'll bring it up on screen now. I'm going to show you the RF parameters and that of course is the, uh, the signal. And first of all, I'll show you the signal strength and then of course the reference signal receive power. And you can see that up on the screen. I'll um, show you the RSRQ and then the signal to interference and noise ratio of what we are experiencing here. Incidentally, as you will see, we connected to band three um, LTE and it's 4G LTE that we're connecting to. And we will be making sure that we collect uh, connecting every time to the correct cell ID. You'll see the cell ID on the screen now. So I'm running throughput tests using speed test. And you will see that um, I've run several of them already. So what I'll do is in a moment, I'll, I'll switch over to, to the, the history and show you the history of the, of the downloads so that we can, we can get a good feeling for a number of downloads given middle of the day. It is now 1435 here in, uh, in South Africa. And this particular area, there's, there's not that many, but there's quite a number of businesses that are probably using this particular cell tower that I'm using uh, from Vodacom as the go-to cell phone tower. Then what we're going to do next is I'm going to take this, uh, this router upstairs, and I'm first going to connect it to the Expo one and come back down here you'll see the, the cable that is coming through the window here that uh, goes all the way upstairs. And I'm going to be connecting the computer directly to the router that will be upstairs connected to, like I've said, a five meter cable. And that, uh, that, that cable uh, obviously runs into the, into the Expo. We'll first do the Expo 1 and then the Expo 1 5G. So now we have the RUT240, the Teltonica that we had here, is now upstairs. It is connected to the Expo 1. And I'm going to show you the results. Just uh, incidentally, our signal to interference and noise ratio has improved slightly. But the major one is that our reference signal received power has improved from 110 to minus 110, that is, to minus 103, uh, a total of 7 dB. So um, it's now minus 103 dBm. Our RSRQ has, slight, has improved slightly to minus 14. And let's see what it was previously. Okay, so RSRQ has improved by a single dB. It, it, it used to be minus uh, 15. But the major thing that you will see from the results is that we've nearly doubled. In fact, in some cases, we were more than double the download speed. And when, when I show you the, the download speeds, you will see that it's a constant doubling of the download speed, doubling of the, of the upload or almost doubling of the upload speed. Uh, the results are coming up on screen now. And then we're going to connect the Expo 1 5G uh, remember, it's the Expo 1 that's currently on there. That's the, the, the unit that, as I said to you before, this is the unit that, that covers the ranges uh, 790 to 960 megahertz, and then 1710 to 2700 megahertz. 4, dB, 4 dBi gain at the, at the top end, 1.6 dBi. A major, major thing about our antennas is that the radiation patterns, the omnidirectional radiation pattern is extremely, extremely good. In this particular instance, the, the tower, and you will see when you look at the cell ID, that it has, from where it was here, there is some tower, I believe it's at about 270 degrees from here, um, west, 
it, I'm going to check it up for us on Cell Mapper, but it connected to a different tower. When I'm up there, it, it found that the best tower was, the, in fact, the tower that's closest to me, the E B. That's about 270 meters from where I am uh, right here. Um, however, just having said that, you would have seen from, from upstairs there that we are down by a river and there's quite a ridge um, from here to where the E B is. And on the ridge, there's some buildings and some vegetation. So that uh, is why we have a relatively low signal. The signal strength, as I've said, minus 70 dBm. That's just the signal strength. And then when we look at the reference signal and receive power, that is minus 110, now uh, minus 103. Uh, a total of 7 dB improvement from having the outdoor antenna versus the indoor antenna. And the results show very clearly on the download. So now we have the XPOL 1 5G connected. Same router. Same tower, same contract. And I'm not surprisingly seeing very similar results, seeing that it's very much the same antenna. The antenna has just been enhanced or improved, so to speak, to also, like I said earlier, to now also do the 5G frequencies. Uh, that that will be the, the frequencies in the frequency range. Um, let's just double check that for you. So we we're now also doing the the 3,400 megahertz to 3,800 megahertz. That is the 5G um, uh, CBRS. You remember the CBRS um, at the top. So the signal has improved slightly from minus 103 to minus 102, so 1 dB there. The RSRQ, receive, uh, reference signal received quality, has improved by a dB. Signal to no, uh, interference and noise is, yeah, I know this is a very noisy environment. The noise is slightly worse again at uh, 2.9, which is not a particularly good signal to interference and noise but again the the download is solid around 13 14 megabits per second download 15 16 up to 17 uh, megabits per second download you'll see that come up on the screen now and what i'll do is i'll also put the history up there uh, for you so this has been the expo one versus the expo one 5g very much uh, alike, the, the two. Obviously, one, uh, the Apple 1.5G now also includes the 5G. And then for, for those of you that would cons be considering a 4x4 uh, router, this uh, particular unit comes in a, uh, an optional 4x4, which, as I've said earlier, is cross-polarized left 45 degrees or uh, right hand side for you or uh, polarized uh, on the right hand side left hand side for you cross polarized uh, dipoles with a horizontal dipole and a vertical dipole to give you a 4x4 capability so thank you for watching be sure to watch our other videos